Hello all, welcome back to Shaking with Peg Leg. Doing a head shave tonight. Yay. Um, King Oscillating Razor. Remember, look at the bottom of the blade here at the gap. See how it moves. I did a face shave with this the other day. It worked really well. I was surprised. Uh, the blade's a little rough because it is like 70 to 80 years old. And it's carbon steel, not stainless, so carbon steel doesn't hold its edge as well over time as stainless does. Um, it was a little tuggy on the first pass, but after that it wasn't bad. That first pass on the base, I had a lot of growth in it. It was a little, it was tuggy. So we'll see how it does on the head. I'm feeling kind of fuzzy. Uh, as you saw on the thumbnail, we're using Parasso. I've got the... I got a little bit of this. I've got the full bottle splash, but I've got a little bit of the sample left, and I've got the Porosso balm. Got some in my yak bra, in my yak horn bowl, which I probably got too much. And I'm just there's no name on this brush. It's like a 20 millimeter bore or badger. Anyways. We're just going to start making some lather. It looks like we're not going to get hit by that storm. Only one model has it coming into the Tampa Bay area where I'm at. Um, and that's, I think, the British model. It's like, okay, well. And all the rest of them have it going up into what I call the armpit of Florida. You've got the peninsula of Florida and then you've got the pan the panhandle they call it and right here where the two join I call that the armpit of Florida and I believe Chuck shaving channel that's where he's at he's up in that armpit area because that's just what it looks like to me he's an armpit nothing else no other reason It's not like when I play with Mel, because he's in Pensacola, and I keep saying he's in Alabama. And the reason I say that is if you take, if you look at the map of the United States, and you take the eastern edge of Alabama, and you run it straight down into the Gulf of Mexico, that part of Florida is Alabama to me. And that's where Mel is. Got plenty, 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 plenty. Plenty lather. It's a little stiff, not bad. It's not real stiff. It's not pasty or anything. And because uh, I'm using this, I don't want to pre-shave. I don't want it too slick because I want those to grab. So we'll just go with the Parasso. the red, the sandalwood. I like this one. I haven't tried either of the other ones. I'm definitely not going to try the green because you know I'm not a big menthol fan. I'm not a meth head. And uh, The white's just for sensitive skin. I don't really have anything against it. The green I, I, I do have against it. I am biased against the green because I'm not a meth head. This is, a, this is a good sandalwood. It really is to me. It's the only sandalwood I have, but it is good. Alright. Oh, we're also going to use the mini trimmer. another use for it. Because I've noticed even with double edge shaves lately on my head, I'm not getting in around my ears like I need to. 
So we'll use the mini trimmer. That thing is so dainty, it isn't even funny. My finger's longer than it is. Can you see that? But it works. All right, ready? Here we go. Yeah, it's a little rough. Yeah, it's a little rough. It is. Not going to lie. It's a little rough. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a little rough. I'm suspecting on the second and third pass it won't be so bad. It's just that this blade is so old and with a lot of hair. It's really not wanting to... Not that well. Wow. Oof. Scalp's tender, guys. It's not cutting me. It's just it is a bit tuggy. And when your scalp is tender and you're tugging on it, like this thing is wanting to do right now, Sorry, that's my other phone letting me know I'm getting a message in. Well, notification. Somebody just posted something somewhere. Whatever. Wow. Oops, I just kind of slammed that into the back of my head. That was my fault. No. Actually, it didn't do too bad, but it was tuggy. All right. So what happened September 25th in 1804? Oh, excuse me. I made meatloaf tonight. <sighs> Anyways. September 25th, 1804. Do you know what happened? I'm asking you because I have no freaking clue. Okay. Well, my little 
magic wand or little magic disc screen over here says that this is the day the 12th amendment of the United States Constitution became effective. And if you don't know what the 12th Amendment is, that's the amendment that nullified how presidents and vice presidents were selected in this country. Because prior to the 12th Amendment, what a lot of people don't know is When we had a presidential election, prior to the 12th Amendment, when we had a presidential election, the number one vote getter was the president. And number two, his opponent, and somebody he might not have gotten along with at all, political enemies, personal enemies, didn't matter. That person, number two vote getter, became vice president. Now, a lot of people don't know that, but that's the way it started for us. Number one vote getter, was president. Number two, vice president. See, what a lot of people don't realize is when everybody goes and votes and a certain person wins a state, that's not all there is to it. That state, their votes are submitted some states use a use a committee now. They select um, people to go to D.C. to present their votes to Congress. But the way it's the way it used to be, or probably still is for a lot of states, is the representatives in the House of Representatives are told that according to the people of our state, this is who they want to be president. And then when it comes time for the House of Representatives to vote that's who they vote for and that's and then so like I said some states send committees they send so, uh, delegates to Congress to present uh, present that um, selection and that's how it's done it's not just everybody votes votes done and that's it there, there's a whole other legal process that has to go into effect but the original Constitution, like I said, number one vote getter was president, number two vote getter was vice president. It's not doing a bad job, but it's not great either. But I don't have the smoothest heads of heads. I've got a big channel in the back of my head where the river runs through. was only and and there was also people that ran as for vice president it's not like now what the way we do things now are you got the ticket you had um You had Joe in the hoe, I mean uh, Kamala, um, and you had Trump and um, Douchebag, what was his name? Um, I can't remember. They ran as a ticket. It used to be, for a long time, that Trump and Joe would run, and then Kamala and white-headed douchebag, they would run. And it generally turned out that Joe won, so his select his preference would be selected also. 
But it wasn't until the late 1960s that presidents started selecting their running mates. That's not always been the case. The running mates were a side effect, a side cause. They also ran. Um, and there was times when the person running for vice president, they also had to qualify, be qualified to be able to be president of the United States or they couldn't run for vice president. Because if something happened to the president, of course, the vice president took over. So they also had to be a, a qualified candidate for president. But there's been several times when one person was running for president against another person. And person A won. And his preferred pre vice president was running against person B's preferred vice president and person B's vice person B's vice presidential favorite won. So you had President A, who is now president, with his opponent's preferred choice as vice president now having to team up. That didn't happen too often, but it has happened. Then they started coming up with other Congress started coming up with other rules to disqualify people. And all kinds of, it was just it's like there was a big thing about when Bush ran and he had Dick Cheney as his BP selection. And people tried to get the votes for the both of them thrown out of Texas because they said Cheney was a resident of Texas, even though he had been a representative for Wyoming in Congress and still had a house in, Con in Wyoming, but he, he did move to Texas when he was running things for Halliburton, which was a whole nother frickin' nightmare, but he ended up changing his driver's license and his voter registration before teaming up with Bush, it, it was discussed that he would team up with Bush and run as his VP. So he changed his driver's license and his voter ID back to Wyoming instead of Texas. And people were say, crying foul because they were from the same state. There's all kinds of little intrigues and backstabbing bullshit that goes on with all this selection stuff. It, it really is. It's, it's crazy how convoluted our government has become from what it was originally inscribed as to be from the Constitution. That's why originally congressmen, representatives, senators, and whatnot, were only given a per diem stipend when they were in office. When because it wasn't a 24-7 job back then, 365. It was, they met every couple of months, whatever, three months for a week or two, and then they went home. So they got a per diem stipend for that time that they served. And they knew, the founding fathers knew that if government officials ever became full-time pocket employees, that's their income all the time, that it would become corrupt. And guess what? Those old bastards were right. Now, I will say we probably have, on paper, one of the truest forms of government for people ever. In practice, in practice, we have the biggest bunch of thieving, lying, conniving douchebag, jackass, ass assholes ever in charge. Seriously. They, these people, 45 years in Congress is too flippin' long. Two terms, get your ass out. All right, you, you ran the House of Representatives, you got your two terms, now go home and run for Senate. And if you don't make it, 
goodbye. You're done. See you later. Pack your bags. You're gone. This 45 years in office, coming into office, and you had $300,000 in the bank, and 40, 40, 45 years later, you've got $380 million in the bank on a $260,000 a year salary. How does that happen? Like I said, on paper, we have one of the best forms of government ever. Ever devised by men for men. In practice, we have nothing but loan sharks in charge. This is supposed to be a government of the people, for the people, and it is not anymore. Those are my personal views. You can disagree if you want. I don't care if you disagree. All I know is you're wrong. Um, hey, it's my channel. I can say whatever the hell I want. You don't like it? You can always go somewhere else. But anyways, I did this the other day. I'm shaving my head and I'm puffing up my cheeks like I'm shaving my face. All right, let's try and get some of this removed. Can you hear it? Wednesday's going to be a good head shape to get rid of the rest of this shit. It's not bad. It's not a bad head shape. It really isn't. It was just a little rough at first. But overall, it's not a bad head shape. the last couple of days. It's just been real aggravating. I don't know about what, really. <clears throat> oh, anyways, let's let's see if there was any damage done. We'll run the yellow block over the head, see what happens. But it's not a bad head shape. It's not. I just what what needs to be what needs to happen is I need to get a home for double-edged razor blades and hone the blades to put an edge back on them, a, a, a sharp edge back on them. It's not bad, but it is a bit tuggy. Uh, yeah. Because it's just, they're old. That's, that's, that's all. It's not that they're wore out or anything. It's just, they're old. And they don't hold the edge for some reason. No, there's nothing on the head. There wasn't even a ting. Like I said, that that gives you your angle. When this is on your skin and that safety bar is on your skin, that's the perfect angle. So it kind of cuts the angle in for you. Which hazel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ross. 
so shake <clears throat> this worked great for trimming around my ears they're, they're clean they're clean I like that gotta pour slow with this bomb because I remember correctly it comes gooping out nope okay hang on a second That is bomb. That is this. I don't know where your mind is at, but that is not it. what you think it is. You guys are something else, really. I could hear you through the camera. And I haven't even posted it yet, and I can still hear you. Alright, well, I've got a face shave tomorrow at 7 p.m., Monday Monday night, 7 p.m., on Instagram, live face shave with Tobin Throwbacks, and I was thinking about using this. Uh, I'm not sure anymore, because it's, that blade might be a little rough, but then again, I got such a good shave from that 1.1 millimeter blade gap positive blade exposure razor. I mean that was a, that was a day ago, guys, and I've got I got like six hours growth on my face right now. Uh, seriously, that thing that thing took layers of skin off of me. It was yeah. I I, I don't have any dead that dead skin left on my face. It took it all. So this might be okay because I probably won't have that much growth tomorrow night. So, all right, all right, guys. I appreciate it. U.S. Constitution, Twelfth Amendment. Went into effect today, and it did not really affect the outcome of the 1804 election, but it was there in case it was needed. It has affected elections down the line after that, and the biggest thing was to stop having political opponents and guys with totally different philosophies becoming president and vice president, because you always had the president doing this and then the vice president in the background working against this guy because they were political enemies, rivals. So, not so much enemies, but rivals. They were totally different thought processes. So this guy's working against the boss. And you, you can't have that. That was that was a big mess up by the original founding fathers. Um, thank God we don't have that now because otherwise we would have had Bush Gore. Um, oh God, Obama, who do we... Obama, who the hell ran against Obama? Oh, uh, Mc, Mc, McLean, McCain, McCain. Oh God, that 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 that, that might won't go into him. Um, we would have had Trump, Clinton. That would have been interesting, would it not? And then again, this time we would have had Biden, Trump. Now that would have been interesting too. But no, you can't have that. You, you not not in this day and age. Definitely not. All right, guys, you all take care out there. I love you all from here. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for the new subscribers. Remember, I'm posting four links to four channels. The guys are under 1,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed to them, please go to their channels. Subscribe to their channels. Let's help boost everybody's numbers. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. Don't forget my affiliate link. When it gets to $25 in that account, I take that money, buy a gift card to the Razor Company, and I give it away to you guys. So, until tomorrow night on Instagram, and then I'll try and repost the video on for my Tuesday face shave. Um, you all take care. Thank you for being here. Done with the babbling fat guy in the chair and the camera, too. Done with the babbling fat guy in the camera. How about that? You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.